Hey, baby, it's me. It's about uh, about 2.30 in the morning. Um, I was going to go to bed, but I got kind of excited because I wanted to talk to you about the stuff that you may need to know for watching Civil War tomorrow. Because uh, I know we haven't watched all of the Avengers movie. So, well, Marvel movies. <laughs> Pardon. But um, I don't remember which ones we've fully seen. I, I know we watched Ant-Man together. I know we watched Guardians of the Galaxy together. I don't remember the rest of them. So, what I'm going to do is try to break this down as, as quickly and simply as I can. So, because some of this doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But, let me see what I can do, okay? <laughs> so, in the Marvel Universe, there are six objects of extreme power. Uh, different gems. Uh, each one of them has a power over different portion of reality uh, sometimes uh, you know, as you can see the mind gem time gem soul gem space gem blah 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 um, so they're not really sure where these came from they're maybe after effects of the big bang could be you know the magical deities putting things together could be that God has six balls and he likes being fondled I don't know but anyway these are items of great power and anytime they show up on the stage, they change things. Uh, one of them has the the ability to destroy planets. Uh, one of them has the uh, multiples, you know, the whole universe quakes kind of thing. Um, you've seen these before. The Tesseract from uh, Captain America, that was one of the gems. Uh, the purple thing inside that stone from Guardians of the Galaxy, also a gem. And unbeknownst to a lot of people, the bit... In the glowy bit for uh, Loki's sphere was a uh, spear. The uh, the thing that uh, could control minds in the first Avengers movie uh, was also a gem. This one was the mind gem. So at the end of Avengers, uh, Thor takes Loki and the Tesseract back to Asgard. Um, leaves the sphere, the sphere, why do I keep calling it sphere? Spear, Loki's spear, with uh, shield. Well, the problem with shield... Uh, is that it's best of intentions created by Peggy Carter, um, you know, all the, the people trying to trying to build up the uh, the nation, all that kind of stuff. But uh, insidiously, Hydra is being born into it. Uh, we saw this in Captain America uh, Winter Soldier. Um, so during that period of time, because... Hydra had access to everything that S.H.I.E.L.D. had, it actually spirited away to Loki's scepter to Sokovia, a Eastern European, you know, behind the cold, you know, the, the Iron Curtain kind of, like one of those kind of uh, a weird little, I, I don't know if it's a city-state, it's, it's, a, it's a country. So it's a weird little country in that weird part of uh, Europe, Eastern Europe. Um, so there he tries to decode, uh, I had a little Bucky picture too, just in case you need to remember, but I'm sure you remember him. Um, so during that period of time, Hy Hydra is doing its best to decode everything. So they've got Chitauri weapons, the bad guys from Avengers. Uh, they're breaking them down, trying to build them back together, and they're creating new and more powerful weapons because of them. Um, they're also trying to scan the, the uh, Loki's scepter to use it as a device to, you know, uh, control the masses. It, it's got a lot of different properties. One of the properties is able to, they do trials, different types of trials with uh, two people, twins uh, of Sokovia, um, Wanda and Pietro Maximoff. Or I, I'm not sure if they had a different name in the background, but uh, you know them as Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. So Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch are the only two people to survive Hydra's test trials uh, with the information that they're pulling out of the gem. Um, which they don't, they also don't know it's actually a gem, because otherwise they probably would have hit it. So, at the end of Captain America Winter Soldier, uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. is dismantled, Hydra is outed, uh, people are going to stop Hydra, it's, uh, all this stuff, it's an Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., it's actually pretty cool. Um, but Hydra starts reinforcing itself in certain locations, including Sokovia, 
where the Maximoff twins are being trained to be weapons for Hydra. So, at this point in time, uh, the Avengers find out about it. They go ahead and attack uh, a Hyd- the Hydra strong point in Sokovia to go ahead and take back Loki's scepter and stop Hydra, because that's what they do. Uh, during the battle, Quicksilver you know, beats hell out of a lot of people. And uh, Wanda, whose powers are uh, kind of mind-manipulative powers that she gained from mostly the, the Mind Stone, but some of the other stuff, too. Uh, maybe Leighton Mutant Genes, they haven't actually come out and said that, because they... Uh, Fox still owns the uh, the copyright for mutants, or the uh, the ability to put mutants in movies. That's why Deadpool happened. So during that period of time, the fight, um, Iron Man is shocked by Scarlet Witch because she wants to put a lot of fear in him. Now, Tony Stark, Iron Man, um, his biggest fear was kind of realized. Uh, and you see a lot of this in Iron Man 3, when he took that nuke uh, through the portal in at the end of Avengers, saves the world, he's actually having PTSD from that. He's, he's uh, In Iron Man 3, he was really badly affected. Now he's actually still being able to do things, but he's still really badly affected. So when she you know, puts the whammy on him, uh, Iron Man sees... The desolation that has happened because he was not good enough, not powerful enough, not creative enough to save the world. Um, so when they take Loki's scepter back and they find inside of it this gem with uh, untold amounts of power, and they they want to harness it, they want to uh, put it into a project called Ultron. Oh, that is the vision. My bad. So into a a. Uh, project called Ultron. It's a uh, global peacekeeping initiative. Uh, as they they kind of build it up, um, the Mind Stone, uh, which is the the portion of uh, Loki Scepter, um, it is alive. It has a mind in it. It may not be fully conscious, but it is something in there. So when they try to put the Ultron protocols into it, the Mindstone reacts and uh, put a mind to Ultron. Um, unfortunately, Ultron was highly psychotic, uh, and instead of being a um, beneficial, you know, engine for good, it turned out to be highly genic. Um, wanted to kill everybody and make them better. Uh, you know, evolve because uh, the only way to protect is evolve. All this other kind of stuff. So, and Iron Man did this. Behind the rest of the Avengers' backs, uh, Hulk was there, but he was in banner form, so it wasn't a big thing. So this kind of strains the ability for the people in the Avengers, especially Captain America, to trust Iron Man at this point. Well, Ultron goes on a spree, just causing all these different problems, and joining up with the uh, Maximoffs in... uh, he, he sees them as kindred spirits. He is completely psychotic, this machine of, of metal and and insanity. <laughs> of course he would be. But uh, no, he's he's nuts. Um, he's, he's fully James Spader, too. So not James Spader mannequin, James Spader blacklist, I would say. Um, or well, really James Spader endless love, but if he had gotten to have a gun. Eh, never mind. So... He has decided that he is going to, one, get the scepter from the Avengers um, to take out the Mind Stone and to create a new body so that he may evolve. Uh, So he starts doing this. And in the process, the process actually gets stopped. And Jarvis, you remember Jarvis from all the Iron Man movies, the one played by Paul Bettany, um, a portion of his... Uh, Matrix, his 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 thoughts and abilities are plugged into the body as well. So he ends up being the Vision. Um, and that actually is the Mind Stone plugged into the back of his head. I know it's blue in the scepter, but it's yellow 
forest thing, that, that kind of happens. Um, so, uh, an interesting happen thing happens when um, Captain America saves the Maximoffs. They, they turn tails against Ultron. They, they become Avengers. Um, he finds out that Tony is continuing to diddle with this system. He's actually the one who creates the Vision, or, or allows the Vision to be born. Um, Ultron is trying to create a body to evolve, gets partially way through creating it, and the Avengers take it because it's got the Mind Stone attached to it. Uh, Stark decides, hey, let me put Jarvis in it. So they start doing that. Captain America is like, don't fucking do it. What the fuck are you doing? And they start fighting. And then Thor bounces in and he's like, hello, lightning. And he actually puts um, the, uh, the enough electricity into the, the thing to shock the, the vision awake. The vision um, is, it starts out, they're not really sure if he's friend or foe, but because he picks up Thor's hammer and Thor's hammer is only being able to be wielded by those who are worthy of it, um, just, you know, very honorable, very, you know, uh, trying to do the good thing, um, they decide to, to trust him. Uh, so Ultron goes back to Sokovia to build an army of Ultrons and actually lift the, um, the city, you know, that he was born in, the whole, like, a large chunk of the countryside. He wants to lift it up into the air and drop it the same way that a meteorite would destroy the world that way. Um, you know, lift it all the way up, drop it. Uh, the Avengers go in to stop him, of course. They, they succeed. During the fight, um, Ultron is destroyed. Uh, and Quicksilver dies. Um, he gets shot by Ultron. Uh, Scarlet Witch joins up with the Avengers afterwards um, and is actually saved by the Vision. And she, from what we can kind of tell, because she is sort of... She can do the mind-whammy powers, she's really fascinated by Vision because of his mind whammy powers. So Ultron's destroyed, um, but when they save Sokovia, I mean it's a I mean it's huge. It's this big thing. Um, the you know whole city falls out of nowhere. Uh, you know, and they they've like this huge chunk of countryside almost destroys the world and they've got to save it. But they also cause this problem by creating Ultron in the first place. At this point um, at the, the end of Age of Ultron, uh, Captain America joins up with, they, they create a new thing, not S.H.I.E.L.D., but it looks like an Avengers thing. It's got the big A's everywhere. Uh, that's the place that Ant-Man tries to break into to get the bit of stuff from, um, from uh, for for the bit in, in Iron Man where he fights Falcon. So, and that's where, uh, in the middle of Michael Douglas says, you know, it's like are they dropping stuff out of the sky? That was what he's talking about from Avengers Two. So, what we've got here at the beginning of Civil War, uh, well, okay, let me kind of finalize everything out there. Uh, I don't know if we watched the end of Winter Soldier. I was going to hope to not do any backtracking, but... So, at the end of Winter Soldier, we know Bucky survives. At the end of Age of Ultron, uh, we find that Bucky has... Uh, Falcon... The reason why Falcon is not involved in anything in Age of Ultron 2... Uh, Age of Ultron, Avengers 2, Age of Ultron. The reason why Falcon isn't involved in anything is he has actually been going on behalf of Captain America to try to find Bucky. Uh, they find him. Uh, so... We've got two new Avengers. We've got the Vision, uh, who has massive amounts of power and is that guy who played Chaucer in Night's Tale. We've got uh, Scarlet Witch, uh, who um, she's like, uh, like Romanian kind of like with the, the oh yes no I have Eastern European accent I am still you know whatever. Um, War Machine is definitely available on things. Um, and I, I'm sure you've seen the, uh, the stuff, but, uh, Tony is still freaked out from what I can tell. He, he is afraid of the amount of power that everybody has. Now he is 
very instrumental in a lot of different things, but he has also been causing a lot of problems. So Captain America is also having a is, is having a hard time trusting Tony Stark. So that's kind of where we're at at the end of Civil War or at the beginning of Civil War. Um, we may see some other people in there uh, if we run into a guy with. Um, uh, stuff on his face and looks like like bones or, or X's. That is the main bad guy, uh, or not the main bad guy. He's he was a um, enforcer for Hydra, um, but he was part of Shield. So it's it's during that part where Shield and Hydra were together. Um, his name is Crossbones, and he has a mad hate on for Captain America. Um, we may run into some other people, and if that ca- it comes up, just let me know. Um, I'll do my best to answer you while being quiet inside of the theater because that's how we are but um you're pretty much caught up with everything uh gemstones and head uh causes problems iron man paranoid because he thinks he's going to either screw up or everyone's going to die because of powers um captain america not really trusting people um because they have let him down and two new avengers uh vision and um the uh, Scarlet Witch, who are added to the group. Um, at the very end of, of Age of Ultron, we see um, Captain America, you know, standing with um, Romanoff behind him, um, greeting a newer set of Avengers. You know, Falcon is there, so is War Machine, and then you have uh, Vision and Scarlet Witch. Uh, and they're, you know, the idea is that they're training. Um, so that's what we're walking into. I'm not going to talk about any of the other stuff that I know is already happening, uh, in the, uh, civil war, um, show other than that, that guy from the other ones. But, um, the point is Bucky has been found, uh, at the end of age of Ultron. Um, and that's why we see him a lot in the show. So anyway, love you. Good night. See you then.